Hey guys, this is Sylvie from Pilates and Yoga with Sylvie. Today's Pilates routine is all about your back. It's got a strong back focus with um, deeply going into your glutes as well. So uh, whenever you're ready, uh, as long as you've done your warm-up, which if you haven't, you can find the warm-up up there, um, we're going to start supine, so come down into the back. So supine position, supine sit up. Allow your arms to relax by the side of your body. Find the feet about hip bits apart. Take a nice big breath in, pull the navel towards your spine and as you breathe out, bring the lower back towards the floor so you find the belly engagement. Get the change at little up there. So let's start with the shoulder bridge. Start off with your original ordinary one and then we're gonna modify it. So when you feel ready, take a big breath in and then let your tailbone tuck under, pelvic stilts, and then slowly roll your bottom off the ground, the lower back, the mid back, until you find a nice straight line from your shoulder towards your knees, towards the um, knees, and slowly roll the breath one by one, lower down on your next out breath. So it's a nice and slow one to start with. And then we're gonna do this again. So you're gonna let the knees stay in line, one went down with the other. Imagine you got bored that you squeeze in between. Take a nice big squeeze at the top so the whole of your posterior chain is engaging and on the out breath slowly lower down. Great job, well done. Next time you're going to take a nice slow roll. As you are at the top of your bridge, if you wish you can let the arms reach all the way up and above. Let the back of the hands find the floor and then slowly with the arms and the leg together Let's lower down, so it's like a nice slow roll and bridge. Good, one more time like this. Both feet on the ground, nice and strong and grounded. Lifting, opening for the heart. And then let the hips stay nice and level. Take your time as you lower down, don't rush, vertebra by vertebra. Keeping the belly in and then lowering the tailbone right at the, bot uh, at the end. Great, so take a little break here now, let the arms reset if you need to move your legs a little bit side to side. So we're going to roll up ourselves up, but this time we're going to stay up and have a few little passes up there. So breathing in, breathing out, roll all the way up to the top. Hold it here, anchor the arms down and just slowly release the hips, pull them back up. Slowly release, squeeze the glutes as you press up. Go down and up, down and up. You have four more if you get a break. Three. Every time you squeeze, then you pull it in. Two. Keep those knees in. And the last one. Slowly find your way down. If you do need to take a break at any point, knees are gonna come towards your chest. Otherwise, one more like this. Next time we're gonna go for uh, 16. That's, that's too much. Break it up to two eights. So slowly roll. And find your one tempo. Little passes. Down and up, down and up, three and four. So 16 is the destination. You wanna keep squeezing. You are nearly done with your first eight. Good, we got eight more. The whole of the posterior chain is on fire. So you should feel the squeeze all the way to the back of the body. Let's do four more, four, three, two and one take your time slowly lower down this time get those knees up towards your chest you have a nice little hop maybe curl up and have a little side to side roll great we're not quite done with your shoulder ridge but this is where the modification comes into place your uh, right foot lift it up and gently place it across onto the top of the left knee so you're gonna find this um, Gently stretching the hip as you open it up. We're going to isolate the left glutes. So the arms come back, engage your belly again, breathe in, find 30% engagement. And then when you're ready, we are going to do the same. So you're going to slowly lift, roll it up, all the way to the top of your bridge, control, and then slowly lower down. Good. So you're moving a bit, a bit faster because you have to control all the way up and all the way down. So, um, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging on the way down, don't quite bring your bottom all the way back. So you're going to find 
lift as high as you can, opening that left, that right knee, and then bring it back. Now see if you can keep the left knee in line with your hip. Slowly back and down. Get two more. Let your upper body be as as um, gentle as possible. So you're gonna try and keep the upper body relaxed. Next time, lift and hold it up here for me, and bring the hips down and up. And seven. And six. So just the left side. That's it. You definitely feel those glutes. Four more. Three, flex it right foot, open the right hip. Two, one. Take your time to lower back and down. Fabulous job. Bring this right knee towards your chest if you or the left knee, if that feels comfortable. You can crunch up and hold the back of your thigh or the top of your shin. Quick release, quick stretch here. Take a nice big breath in and on the out breath, slowly, mindfully release the foot back and down. Let's swap side. Left foot on the ground, or the right foot on the ground, left knee comes across, left ankle comes onto the top of the right knee. So flexing the foot, opening up the left hip, arms by the side of your body, shoulders relax away. Good, let's just go with the singles first. So you're going to slowly lift up and slowly release down. Good, so keep moving through the belly button to raise the spine to keep the belly engaged, working through the core. Strong core stabilization here. And of course, you've got the choice not to touch the hip down. Four more. Press down equally through that right foot. Try to keep, through, keep your balance as you're rolling up and down. Keeping that right knee in with your right hip. And the breath is very important here. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try to hold on. Great work. One more time like this. Lifting up. Hold it here. And we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Six more. It's a big squeeze, so you really wanna feel the whole of the back body exploding. We got four more. Keep that front knee open, three. Lift it up through the chest, two. And last one. Slowly release back into the floor for a little stretch. You can stay here, you can bring this knee to lift the chest. You make with the back of your thigh, the top of the knee, lower the head towards the ground and take a little rest. So a couple of breaths in and releasing out. One more time, breathing in and take it easy. Well done. Now this was your first round, so you're going to repeat this one more time. But before we do that, we take a little roll over to our tummies. So take your time. Uh, to find your way down towards the floor, the hands um, wider than your mat, lower down. Your feet are going to be about hip fits apart. We're going to keep working into our backs. Now, allow the hands to come just uh, nice and close towards your head. When you feel ready, tuck your chin in and allow the head to come down, the forehead to come down into the floor. If you need to use a towel and cushion underneath your forehead. So we're going to start off nice and easy, and we're going to make it a little bit more um, engaging for those of you who want to work harder. So whenever you feel ready, take a lovely big breath in, on the out breath, let your head and your shoulders lift off the, the mat, and bring the eyes just in front of your mat with a nice long straight um, spine. Allow the upper body to release down, breathing in, and then breathing out to lift back up. Do you want to keep that engagement in your belly? And you want to keep the hip bones pressing down equally, the feet a bit too straight towards each other for you working with your upper back. Good. Now, next time, I'd like you to lift and hold here. And if it's possible, see if you can book your hands out in front of you. And then keeping the spine out so long, it's just in front of your mat. So you're going to feel that the ribcage curl is lifting off the ground. Good. Now bring the hands back and slowly lower down. We're going to repeat this one more time. Breathe in out and lift. Move the hands out in front of you. Press the palms into the floor. Lengthen the arms. Elbows lift. Bring the hands back and release down. Great. So you're gonna go from here. You're gonna change your hand position. You're gonna bring the hands towards your temples, just like when you do in a crunch sit up on your back. 
So bring the hands towards your temples, put the head down and see if you can lift your elbows off the ground. So we're gonna take a big breath in, you're gonna breathe out and let the whole of the body lift. Elbows stay nice and wide. Squeezing a little bit through the bottom and then relaxing the upper body back and down. Let's do that again, breathing in, breathing out a lift. And then back and down, two more like this. So next time as you lift, we allow the shoulders to pull back and we may reach your arms a little bit oh, nice and wide by the side. So this is how your double looks like. Lower back and down. One more time. Lifting, shoulders pull back. Long spine chin tucked in. Arms wide if you wish. Back and down. Great. If you need a break, hands just next to your head or by the shoulders. And we're gonna go for a little bit of um, um, a combination here. So we're gonna have a single or double salute, we call this. So your fingers at your temples, you're gonna use one arm at a time and then the double. So when you feel ready, fingers to your temples, breathing in, breathing out, lift up as high as you can comfortably do because you're gonna stay here. So I'm gonna do one single with the right hand, bring it back, one single with the left hand, and then both arms. Lift a little high if you can and bring it down and again. Right, left, lift and down and again. So you got maybe six altogether, maybe four if that's what you prefer. And you take a break whenever you need to. We squeeze and lift with the upper back muscles. When you do the double, the shoulder is coming towards the uh, spine. This is your last one. Beautiful work. Lifting, holding, releasing, and down. Oh, wow. You must have felt that one. Bring the hands under your shoulders. Push your hips back. Take a child's pose. So you want to create that lovely length in the back of the body to release with the spine. You can take any kind of release that helps you here. A little roll through the back. And then whenever you're ready, four point kneeling position is the last um, exercise in this little combination. So you're gonna find the hands under the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we're gonna focus on, again, back side of the body, so glutes will. When you're ready, take a big breath in. On the out breath, extend one leg behind you. Doesn't matter which one, we're gonna go straight to the other side. So as you extend the leg, the toes are still down on the floor, engage the core, making sure that the hips facing the floor. And then we're gonna start with very gently, nice, slow lift of that uh, leg. So breathing in, breathing out, lift the leg off the ground, touch the foot back and down. So we're lifting the leg and we're touching it back and down. So that's a nice and um, controlled way to work through the back of the body. You already start to flee the engagement of the glutes, the lower back and the whole of your core working. So the leg doesn't have to be completely straight and the lift doesn't have to be uh, high. So it, hip high, maybe a little higher is more than enough. Now next time, as you lift your leg up, like you to hold it there. So you can point your toe or flex your foot, it's up to you. And we're gonna do little circles with the leg. So you're gonna do Maybe three circles one way, and then three circles the other way. The key here is to keep the hips nice and square as you work here, and then one more round. Three circles one way, and three circles the other way. Keep that breath flowing. As you come back, let the knee bend, and then the heel is pointing, or uh, the foot is flexed, and the heel is pointing towards the ceiling. So this is approximately landing your hip if it's possible. And then let's a little pause here. So you're gonna lift the leg and lower down. Lift the leg, lower down. So when you lower down, you got the tendency, we got the tendency to bring the knee up towards your chest or just lower down. So see if you can kind of keep it approximately aligned with your knee if you've got a mirror to check. And just see that your uh, right hip is pointing down towards the floor or the hip that's where the leg is up and not drop in. How many more can we do? Eight? Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Slowly bring this knee back. You definitely feel the, the work in the glutes on the right, on that side. So take a job, take a release. Maybe a little row for the wrist. And let's do the other side. So you're gonna find hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. Bring the opposite leg up. You extend down so the toes are touching down. And then let's just start to the lift. So reset everything, take your time, lifting and lowering. So just a little lift, touching the toes down. Make sure that the belly is pulling in so there's no uh, belly dropping towards the floor and there's no arch in your back. That can be when you can really give yourself a nice little low back pain. So nice and strong connection towards the floor by spreading your fingers and strongly latching onto the floor. Good, two more. Nice, feel the engagement in the glutes as you lift the leg, the front of the leg, as we're working. Lifting the leg way next time, and just hold it there. We're not lifting, just passing just yet, we're circling. So I'm going to take three circles one way, it's a very, very small circle, and then three circles the other way. So you imagine you're like doing a little circle just around the tip joint, and if it's a little bit lower, that's okay, you're still working hard. Good, one more. Great, now let the knee bend. Allow the heel to point up towards the ceiling and we pass. So you're gonna let the heel push towards the ceiling, fully engaging through the glutes. In your own tempo, please allow the breath to keep flowing in your body. So now it's big breath in. You got eight, seven, six, no watching the back, put the belly in. Four, three, two, one. Let the knee come down. Take open your knees a little bit wider and take a lovely long stretch out in front of you. So allow the belly to pull it nice and tight. Now I have said we're gonna repeat this, right? So swing your legs around. Good news, it's gonna be slightly shorter. And roll yourself down onto your back, arms by the side of your body. So we have done through the basics. We're gonna go straight into your exercise. Your body is warm. So I'd like you to take a big breath in and the out breath. Pick up your right foot and then bring the right foot on the top of the left knee. Straight into your single leg, shoulder bridges. So you're gonna breathe in and then breathe in out. On the left, you're gonna go for eight. Lower down, seven, release. Belly is engaged all the way through. Good job, well done. Four more to go. Four, three, you keep that knee open. Two, and one. Now lift and stay. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release down. And swap sides straight away. Before you change your mind, this is how you're heading off, right? So you're gonna bring the foot or the knee onto the top of the ankle, and then we're gonna get straight into it. So the shoulders relax, breathing in, breathing out, and drive up, release down. You go for eight. We're working your own, own tempo. Keep that uh, left foot flexed. Good. Four more if you want. The challenge, remember, keep the bottom of the ground and be working through the strength of the back body. Two more. Good. Think about that. Left hip pressing straight up towards the ceiling, the right hip. And the next time as you lift, you're going to go for the passes. Little pass. But every time engaging the glutes. You've got six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one slowly take it down take a little release with the knees towards your chest and then slowly roll yourself over towards your belly so back and down into the ground feet about if it's apart remember you're engaging uh, the hip bones down towards the floor and the fingers going to come to the temples letting the shoulders relax away we go for the combination Put the chin in breathe in breathe out lift and we're going to go for Single, 
single salute and a double salute and again one two leave the double good so when you leave the double your aim is to maybe go a little bit further up can we do two more this is it reach the arm the fingertips away the belly needs to pull in spine is nice a long extension and release all the way down good work hands on the shoulders take a little stretch in your chest push to drive the hips back and let's finish here with the last little bit of work hands on the shoulders shoulders relax away so you're gonna go for the right leg when you're ready breathe in breathe out lift it up allow the shoulders to relax so we go for the passes and then the circles after so we gently turn it around let's go you're gonna go for eight seven six five four three two one hold extend the leg circle eight this time so you're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and change. Eight. To control, if you need to slow down and work slow, uh, slower, maybe just do the full circles. When you're ready, come back. Bend the knee, surprise, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one one knee down press back little release let's finish this nice and strong left leg lift it up passes to start to engage hip square eight seven six five four keep it nice and small after the eight hold it extend the leg eight circles one way try to keep the body as still as possible four three two one and change so the right hip is staying in line with the right knee and you work for the core stabilization muscles two one bend the knee last bit eight seven six five four three two one release the knee and then give yourself a massive clap that was hard work feet together knees wide open the the knees and then let the arms reach out in front of you. Take a nice little stretch as you push your hips back towards your heels. Slowly roll yourself down and then come and face me. So after this, you probably need a little bit of a uh, release. So I suggest you do one of my cool down stretches, even if you don't do it all the way through. One of these, the stretching sequence. And let me know what you think. What do you think? Do you find it challenging? Did you find it uh, easy? Any suggestions, comments, feedback, please let me know. Otherwise, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you're interested, you want to watch more videos, you can do that now. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.